Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The latest DCS World update has been out for a few days now, and I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. So, let's get into it. First of all, Flaming Cliffs 2024. Well, that's one of the big things that they've added, the other two being the winter textures for the Cola map, as you can see here, we'll get into that in a little bit, and of course, Afghanistan. So, the Flaming Cliffs 2024 basically adds three new aircraft to the existing FC-3 pack, which, cons uh, as you know, consists of the F-15C, the A-10A, uh, three variants of the Flanker, the MiG-29, and the SU-25 Alpha. So, I actually got the, uh, the F-86 Flaming Cliffs version as a standalone aircraft here. And it's basically just a non-clickable, sort of simplified controls version of the regular F-86, which is pretty decent, honestly. I, I, I really like this thing, if I'm being completely honest about it. Um, As you can see here, I can s pretty much really easily switch between modes. I have the uh, Sidewinders and the gun to pick from. Um, so, basically, it has the same exact flight model as the full fidelity F-86 Foxtrot. Which is just a, uh, just not clickable and simplified controls, obviously. Uh, the same goes for the F-5 and the MiG-15, which were both added to FC-2024. Now, here's the problem. FC-2024, with its release, it broke all of the Flaming Close 3 based mods out there, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's say, for example, I want to get in my F-15EX. So let's try to do that here. Whoops. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Except that I can't fly it. So, how do we fix that? Well, there's only one way to do it right now. There is a workaround. Um, and no, it is not buying FC 2024. I have confirmed that does not work. So, that would be one way to straighten it out. Uh, if it did work, but it would definitely be kind of expensive considering that FC 2024 I think is about $59.99 right now. Um, actually what we have to do is have an F-15 Charlie or whatever aircraft whose avionics your mod is based on. So for example if it's like, oh I don't know, if it's an SU-30, the version that without the uh, cockpit weapon system mod, um, it would be an SU-27, I believe, that you would need, or an SU-33, um, as a client in the mission. So we'll just jump into an F-15 Charlie here. And click fly. So as you can see, we're in the F-15 Charlie now. And now what I'm going to do is jump out of that and into the F-15EX. And boom, F-15EX. Simple as that. Well, I say that. It is kind of annoying. In fact, it is very, very annoying. And I really hope the ED fixes this because, I mean, can you live with it? Yeah, if you have to, but really? Come on. I mean, this is, this is something that we haven't had to deal with. And we've gotten along or honestly gotten used to for so many years, and now suddenly you have to jump through an extra hoop in order to use mods like the F-15EX, the F-22, um, all that kind of thing. And it's, it's more than a little frustrating, to put it mildly. So, with that being said, please, please, ED, if you are at all listening, please fix this. I don't know what's going on here. Apparently, the uh, the Flaming Cliffs DLLs are not loading up properly. It, it is my understanding of what the issue is, or something. But please, 
by all means, fix this. Make it back, make it the way it was again. So if you don't like this for right now, your only choice is to stay on the previous DCS patch version, which is going to lock you out of multiplayer, I do believe. Uh, kind of unfortunate, unless someone's running a server on the previous patch version, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how this whole situation shakes out for sure. Now, on to the Cola Winter Textures. I honestly really like this. This looks fabulous to me. Now, I uh, don't have the keenest eye for detail. I will be completely upfront about that. There are a lot of people who see a lot of things that uh, I don't really care too much about. Now, I'm flying over a low detail part of the Cola map right now, or sort of low detail. And, I mean, look at that. That is, that is pretty nice right there, honestly. And all the way over there. You can check out the uh, new... Maw's fairing model that I've got going here in the pipeline for the F-15EX version 2.0 release, which is uh, currently still in development. I, I'm going to try to keep working on this and hope and hope that ED will fix the issue with Flaming Cliffs 3 mods, because going standalone with this would probably take multiple years, especially for me. And... That's not some. That's just not something that's really on the table right now. So standalone mods, by the way, as far as I'm aware, those still work just fine. So the F4 Bravo and Charlie, the uh, T45, and I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, all the helicopters, obviously. Um, the OH-6, the UH-60, as far as I'm aware, all that stuff still works because it doesn't, it's not dependent on FC-3. However, the SU-30 did get broken, which uh, I honestly kind of saw coming a mile away because it, it's, it's the kind of thing where air-to-air -air and air-to-ground in a free mod and not just air-to-air -air and air-to-ground, but precision air-to-ground and long-range air-to-air -air in a single mod. Yeah, I, I I could see where that one would be one that ED wouldn't mind breaking. We'll just put it that way. Um, but with all of that being said, about the only other thing that I'm aware of that we really got... Um, or the only other major thing is the Afghanistan map, which I'm not going to be purchasing because I really don't have hard drive space for it. So, with all that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and especially any updates on the situation with the Flaming Cliffs 3 mods. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.